so uh, if when uh, when we have uh, the we have, when we have calculated the all the cut off frequency due to the each capacitor so and then after that we can determine the actual uh, low cut off frequency so by choosing the the highest value among the calculated values so and then after that uh, we can uh, plot the book plot we can do the book plotting so in the book plotting uh, the after you draw the axis axis uh, y, y x axis should be in log scale for the frequency and then y axis is again in a linear scale so uh, in the frequency axis you can uh, put the you can label the uh, every frequency so we have for example in the previous example uh, we calculated three cut off three uh, cut off frequency from three capacitor so we have three frequency value we can label this three frequency value in the uh, frequency axis okay so in the bot plot so uh, above the uh, highest uh, calculated cut off frequency it is the mid band so the mid band uh, ideally yeah, for the mid band the gain will be uh, uh, at the fixed value so the mid band level is at the fixed value and then after uh, it reached the highest uh, calculated cut off value so uh, we consider as a actual low cut off frequency so the the gain will decrease okay so if you see this uh, graph we have a dashed line here and then we have the blue line so uh, the blue line is the this one is the blue line this is the actual uh, uh, plot curve and then this uh, this uh, dash line is our uh, approximate or our simplified book plotting so in this course if you are asked to uh, draw the book plot so we will uh, use uh, we will draw the this dash line okay so this the blue line is the actual where we uh, apply the smoothing to smooth the uh, we will have the, some curve here so it will be more uh, real, realistic or will more near to close to the what is the actual uh, measured or actual observed book plot for the uh, BJT. Okay, so uh, beside of the cut off frequency, we also have uh, a term what we call it a uh, roll off. So this roll off, what is roll off? Roll off is the amount of attenuation. Attenuation means the loss in gain at this frequency. So uh, the roll off indicate how fast the reduction of or re the decrease of the gain over the frequency. So if the roll off is high, so it means that the frequency decrease rapidly. If the roll off is low, so it means that the gain decrease gradually. So the roll off is described as dB loss per octave or dB loss per decade. So uh, here, uh, so as I mentioned, the the roll off is dB per decade or dB per octave. So the roll off is the reduction the how much the gain reduce at certain frequency at certain frequency range so uh, this uh, this one is uh, gain and then the decade is the frequency range frequency change okay so in the frequency we can uh, the frequency changes uh, we can uh, use whether decade or octave So, what is dB per decade? So, they, so okay, and then uh, take note that we'll put minus here. So, this minus, minus, uh, minus symbol or minus symbol here indicate the reduction. So, because usually uh, the dB, we don't have any, we don't, the dB, uh, the, the unit for the gain in dB uh, is, uh, 
is a log value so we put this minus here to indicate the reduction so minus db per decade so the the term decade here refer to the changes of tenfold tenfold changes so tenfold changes is uh, for example from 10 hertz to 100 hertz so this is tenfold change tenfold change or 1 hertz to 0 0.1 hertz this is also a tenfold change so the 10 to 10 hertz to 10 hundred so 10 hertz to 100 hertz is uh, multiplied by 10 and then uh, 1 hertz to 0 0.1 hertz is uh, divided by 10 so this is a uh, tenfold tenfold change okay so minus db per decade is how much the uh, the gain decrease in db unit for every tenfold change in frequency okay for attenuation at low frequency end it refers to the loss in gain from lower cut off frequency to a frequency that is one tenth one tenth the cut off value okay for this example let's say uh, the FLA is uh, 6 kilohertz and the gain is 0 dB the gain is 0 dB and then FLS is uh, 9 so this is 9 kilohertz or see 9 kilohertz this is not, not here this is kilo should be ok sorry uh, this this uh, graph does not um, show the, the this example. So let, let's consider this uh, the statement. Eh? So FLS is uh, nine kilohertz gain, nine kilo nine nine kilohertz frequency, and the gain is zero dB. Okay, the gain is zero dB. So uh, so if uh, the if the the roll off is minus 20 dB per decade so means okay so means that uh, let's say I put this frequency is 9 kilohertz and then gain is 0 dB so if the roll off is minus 20 dB per decade so means that when the frequency is 0 0.9 K hertz so the gain will be minus 20 dB so if the frequency is uh, 0 0.09 kilohertz, so okay, if the frequency is 0 0.09 hertz, so you come minus 40 dB. So this is uh, what, how you can uh, calculate, how you can determine the gain if the roll off is given. Okay, if the roll off is given. Okay, so for uh, for one capacitor, for one capacitor, capacitor circuit. So the roll off is minus twenty dB per decade. Okay, instead of using the dB per decade, we can use dB per octave. So dB per octave is referring to the twofold change in frequency. Twofold change in frequency. So means that if the frequency is, uh, the initial frequency is uh, 10 Hz, so the twofold change uh, increment is 20 Hz. If the frequency initial frequency is 10 Hz, the twofold reduction is 5 Hz. So 10, the upper one is 10 times 2, and then the, 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 the lower one is 10 divided by 2. So this is change of twofold. Okay. Okay, so for the attenuation is referring to the loss in gain from the lower cutoff frequency to a frequency one half the cut off frequency okay for example if the FLS is uh, 9 kilohertz the gain is 0 
Okay, if the roll off is 6 dB per neck minus 6 dB per octave, so means that uh, at frequency of uh, let's say 4.5 because 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 kilohertz, the gain is will be minus 6 dB because the roll off is minus dB per decade. Okay. Okay, so uh, for one capacitor, the this is 6 dB per octave. Okay, roughly the 6 dB per octave is equal to 20 dB per decade. So you can use either a 6 dB per octave or 20 dB per decade. So which one, either one, you can use uh, either one. Okay, so this is the book plot showing the, the roll off. So in the previous example, we have uh, three capacitors in the circuit. We have two coupling and then we have one bypass. Let's say we have here is the bypass and then this is uh, input and then output coupling. So uh, this is referring to the so the, the bypass capacitor bypass uh, the free cut off frequency due to the bypass capacitor will become the low cut off frequency because it is the highest value and then after that uh, the, the reduction of the gain will be uh, the rate of reduction is will be 20 dB per decade or minus or minus 6 dB per octave so this is minus eh minus 20 dB per decade or minus 6 dB per octave okay so because of uh, at this point there is only one capacitor CE appear okay so what happened uh, above the FLCE this is a mid band this is a mid band in the mid band there is no capacitor because this is a short circuit okay so once uh, the frequency uh, change towards the lower frequency and then it reach the FLCE so the CE appear in the equivalent circuit so one in this equivalent circuit only one CE appears so this is 20 dB per decade or 6 dB per octave Okay, after that, if the frequency reach the second frequency, FLC1, so we have two. So in this, in this uh, region, we have two capacitors. So one is C1 and then we have the CE. So because we have two capacitors, the rate of reduction or the roll off is become double. So we have 20 dB per decade or 12 dB per octave. Okay, after it reached the, the third, the last cut off frequency, so all the capacitor appear in the equivalent circuit. So we have uh, here C1, we have C2, and then we have the CE. So because we have three capacitor, this is the roll off is triple. So we have uh, 20 times 3, so 60 dB per decade, or 6 times 3, 18 dB per octave. So this is how how you can draw the uh, book plot at the low frequency.